everyone, how's it going? So today in this video I'm going to be showing you some of my beauty favourites and some things are drugstore and some things are higher end. So either way I hope you enjoy the video. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this Their Real Benefit Mascara. Now I just love this because it's so shiny and I'm quite attractive to shiny things because I don't know why I'm a bit like a magpie but anyway. Um, when as soon as I open this, I just want to apply it on. The only downfall with this is it does flake a bit. Apart from that, it makes my lashes really long, and I'm quite blessed because I have got quite long eyelashes. I haven't got any makeup on at the moment. It's because I kind of just wiped it all off, and I want to be fresh faced and clean. Not that when you apply makeup, it's not clean. But I'm gonna keep on blabbling because I love talking. So, yeah. But anyway. So that's the their real benefit mascara. The alternative for that is the Volume Lash Scandalized Mascara by Rimmel London. It's not a dupe, dupe, dupe. Yeah, but I just use this as well, just as much as the benefit one. So yep, yeah, it has got a bigger brush, but it does look a bit clump. Oh, sorry, it does look a bit clumpy. But whenever I see, it is quite bright so I am quite attractive to bright things as well so when I saw this in the shop I was just like I have to have it because Rimmel I really like Rimmel um, mascaras so I normally get Maybelline ones but I was really impressed with this so that's the scandalized mascara. I sound really weird by saying that um, I'm attracted to bright and shiny things but that's just me um, so my next thing is the Maybelline New York Brow Drama um, Sculpting Brow Mascara. Now I've got it in dark blonde because that's the colour of my eyebrows. Eyebrows, yeah. Um, so it's basically like a mascara wand and it has a slight tint on it and it'll, you don't need to apply any gel over the top because this is like a gel form, formula in it. Um, and it just makes your eyelashes look really groomed. <laughs> groomed, not gloomed and yep yeah, I've just been wearing it a lot and it just makes it look really natural and I don't want to look like I've got <coughs> slugs on my eye <coughs> sorry don't want to look like I've got slugs on my eyebrows but if you like having slugs on your eyebrows go for it I don't want to put anybody down it's just because for school I want to look nice and natural so I find this is the best for me. To eyeshadow I've got this Maybelline New York colour tattoo 24 hour and this is in 65 pink gold. Now I have got another colour, it's like a purpley colour but that does kind of make my eyes look bruised but anyway this is really pretty because it stays in place all day and it's not too like thick and heavy and feel like you've got a big slime thing on your eye that's the best way I could describe it but anyway yeah this is a really pretty colour it's got shimmer in it and I just it makes my blue eyes pop really well so I've been loving that moving on to eyeliner um, I've got this Maybelline New York Master Drama Col Liner I can't pronounce it you can pronounce it wait Col Liner I just say Col because I can't really say anything else. Anyway, it's got a bit blunt at the moment because I've used it so much. But liquids, I do normally find liquids easier. But this I've just been loving because it glides on so easily. Just so easily. It can be not so thick. But obviously because I've used it so much it's kind of gone blunt. But yeah, this is quite really cheap. It's only like three or four pound so i've been loving this as well I've been loving is this benefit havana blusher um what i find lovely you've got a little mirror as well so it's easy you don't need to bring an extra mirror but i tend to anyway but you've got these swell of colors which i find gorgeous so you just like get your brush and just swell it in and then apply it and i love because you when you swell you get all like the like candy colours and it's just gorgeous it reminds me of like a sweet so every time I go to Benefit and they have a sweet so I always get a little lolly because I like lollies but anyway yeah you get a cute little brush with it as well so that's always comes in handy but I just love this love this because it's so gorgeous when you swell all the colours together and a good alternative for that it's not a dupe or anything dupe dupe <laughs> yeah but anyway it's this number seven blush blusher in um soft damson i've hit tin so 
I'm really sad about that. But anyway, I've been wearing it a lot, as you can probably tell, because I have hit him. But, um, yep, yeah, it's gorgeous colour, and it's really natural, so I can wear both of them to school, which I've which is great. The foundation I've been loving is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation by Benefit and it's so nice because it's not super heavy on the skin, it's not cakey and this is in I'm um, pure for short sure ivory and a good alternative for this is the L'Oreal Paris True Match, I know I keep on saying the alternative but yeah just in case you want like a drug drugstore and then a higher end so I thought I'd just show you my two like favourite from both but if I'm going to school and I don't want to make my foundation too heavy then I'll just be using the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB Cream which I've been loving because it's really moisturising and I just find it easy just for going to the school going to school and it's just nice and light. What I've been using it a lot is a blot powder by MAC and it's in medium but it does look quite light but the light was too light for my skin so got the medium obviously <laughs> and I've just been using this a lot lately it's really sets my foundation so that's been great for me. I really love a bright lip so for that I, I love the Bourjois Shine and it's um, Shine Edition and it's in Shine 20 and it's this beautiful cor coral colour and I love the packaging of this uh, I'll just show you that. That is in one swipe, so it's really pigmented and it's just nice and glossy and buttery and it's just gorgeous on the lips. And um, a blusher that I've also been loving is this Bourjois Cream Blush in 03. And I think that makes your cheeks so lovely and rosy and it just makes them look really natural and looks great as well. So moving on to brushes that I've been loving, I'm going to start off by the Real Technique Blush Brush and this is my favourite brush ever. I was starting to love the buffing brush but this is still my favourite brush. It just applies my brush so well, it's great for like swirling the brushes and getting all the colour. If you want your blush more pigmented then you just apply more into the brush and it doesn't eat up all all the product so you save a lot of product using these brushes and also a great um, little pack as well it's a Real Techniques um, starter set I think and it's great I've been loving these eyeshadow brushes that like if you want to start off with some eyeshadow brushes I'd suggest getting these because these are so helpful and I think the key to a good eye look is your brushes so I would suggest getting this because I just love it so buy it girls or guys because it's just a lovely pack and the packaging is gorgeous and also it's easy to carry around because you've got a little toggle and it's easy to carry around and it stays up like that so yeah I've been loving these brushes and just to clean my brushes, I've been using this MAC brush cleaner. Now, I was really surprised because the how much this was was really cheap. Obviously, I bought another bottle because I wouldn't be up to there if using all my brushes. But, yeah, it's only £10, so I thought that was really good for MAC. And it is, you only need a little bit and it goes a long way. So, less is more, I say. So... Yep, yeah, that's all my brushes I've been loving and the brush cleaner that I've been using a lot. Thank you for watching everyone. That was my beauty favourites video, in case you didn't hear me at the beginning. And I've really enjoyed filming this video because I've got to see all my favourite products in one big pile. Now, I did find it really hard trying to pick my favourite products, but I think I've done pretty well for myself. And I hope you have found this video interesting. So, thank you for all watching. Bye.